dawn breaks in a dazzling sunrise. And shifting shadows reveal one of the most famous spectacles in the world. There are plenty of canyons in the world, but this is the grandest of them all. It's only a couple hours east of Las Vegas, and while it lacks pink flamingos and guys dressed up like Caesar, it is 277 miles long, up to 18 miles wide, and over a mile deep. That makes it the world's most scenic hole in the ground. The south rim of the Grand Canyon receives 90% of the park's visitors because it's easiest to reach by car. You can literally drive up to the edge. The views are spectacular. Plus, the sun is at your back, so you don't have to squint. To see the canyon the way the pioneers did, you can ride by horseback or mule, like Teddy Roosevelt. Whether it's a short ride along the South Rim or a two-day, 14-mile trek down to the Colorado River, it's a canyon experience you will never forget. And if you're thinking a hike from rim to rim, we're talking three days and 21 miles of rough trail. And it's a hike that can literally take your breath away. Follow in the footsteps of ancient Americans and head down to the Colorado River into the Big Ditch. Just off the busy rim trail are the last things you'd expect here. Fossils of sea creatures left during the Paleozoic era, hundreds of millions of years ago when the whole place was underwater. Once at the bottom, some 5,400 feet below where you started, canyon walls loom in every direction. And it's here where the adrenaline kicks in. The rapids are ripping. It's an amazing ride, even if the locals don't seem very impressed. There are secretive side canyons you can pull over and explore. If you want more, head to the other side of the canyon. The less accessible North Rim, open during the summer months, is for more seasoned adventurers because the trails are tougher and the weather rougher. On the eastern end of the park, Bright Angel Point offers views that are, well, heavenly. And some of the most spectacular sights from the North Rim are discovered at Cape Royal Point. From here, you practically get aerial views of the Colorado River, San Francisco peaks, and the monster-sized nooks and crannies that define the world's most popular canyon. Don't just sit at the South Rim and look down. When you go to the Grand Canyon, you have to ride a mule down and raft the Colorado River. So plan accordingly.